Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Purgatory 2. Previously, we met a new character, as the cast of characters using the letter E starts to grow. What the? Oh, we're just being cleaned. Just so we don't have a red spite forever. Sprite forever. What's happening? Huh, it's water. It's giving us a shower. Hey, look, a blow dry. Nice. That nearly scared the crap out of me. What the heck was that all about? At the very least, our clothes have somewhat dried due to the air dryer. But I can still feel the stickiness in the inside of my shoes and in my undies. You may have walked into the sterilization room. It is a place where I'll automatically clean any filth or waste that passes through it. I wish you had told me that earlier. We could have brought Emma in here. I nearly thought we were going to be trapped in here. My apologies. I will tell you right away next time. Yeah, I appreciate it. I wonder if that shower was able to remove the stench of blood to some extent. This place is pretty spacious. Where are we now? According to one of the memories I digested, this is an important research facility. However, this facility has been or has already served its purpose. It is now obsolete. I see. Then what should be our next move? I believe it should be to your left. All these rooms look the same. Do you see the door up there? That room will be your destination. What will we find in there? It should be a system control room. It is a room filled with strange machines. There may be some useful information in there. Right to that. All right, let's do this. It seems to be working, but it's not responding. Going in the opposite direction. Because you can't tell me what to do. All these hallways look the same. Feeling a little intimidated because all these hallways look the same. So I'm going to go back and go where you told me to go. Is it, is it looping? I think it's looping in. Yeah, okay. Weird. Hey, the switch thingy isn't working. Please wait a moment. Ah, it lit up. Is there nothing you can't do, Nine? I can influence anything so long as it is within my narrow capsular range. But once it is outside my range, I cannot affect anything at all. Do not overestimate my capabilities. Still, it's a huge help to us. Here we are. Let's see where we can get our hands on some information. How do you work these machines? I don't have a single clue. What about you, Henry? Do you know how to use these things? You're the same boat as me. Nine, do you think you can handle this? Yes, understood. Oh, uh, hi. Here I am. You actually came in. Yes, I actually came in. Let me quickly take a look at this. If you please. Whoa, that's amazing. Computer. Hacked. Green hair. Hacked. Found anything? Yes, I think I understand most of it. I don't quite get what you did, but that's incredible. This technical process is a skill I have absorbed from the dead bodies I digest. It is not something in it to me. I see. I must spend a little more time researching. Evel, can you look around this floor and see if you can find an elevator? Gotcha. Both her hands as well as her tentacles moving insanely fast. By the way, I found this thingy. That is a USB flash drive. I wonder what data is stored on it. Gimme. Sure, here you go. I found video data on it. Want to see? Why not? Let's take a look. Click. 
Hello. This is a video. It is a footage from one year ago. It appears this video data does not have any audio. I see. And this girl on the screen right now. Is that you, Henry? I I see. I will play it back. Enhance. Zoom in. Add sitcom noises. Oh yeah, you did do that, didn't you? Okay, I'll just see you later. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to, like, um, chop that body up real good for me, thanks. So this is Lucas is dead. We we ain't getting that twist. We ain't going that far. And man, it's pretty elaborate. I'm just here to like murder people. This giant here, his name is S003. According to the data, he had murdered 19,700 people, and he was killed by someone just last year. Additionally, it was Oliver who pushed Henry into that hole. I don't like what I just saw. More than that, it's a wonder how you survived being thrown down that hole, Henry. Also, do you know who was being hacked and slashed over and over by the giant in this video? Oh, I see. It was Lucas. Huh. So when you discovered Lucas's body, it was so mangled that you didn't know who it was at the time. That makes sense. Given the circumstances, you thought it was Oliver's body then. That bastard is the epitome of maliciousness. Come to think of it, at the end of the video I saw Oliver had to put an object into Lucas's hand. I only caught a glimpse of it. But it was something like a kitchen knife. No, I think it might have been a cleaver. And Henry's holding onto a cleaver as well. Apple. Yeah? I picked up this object earlier. Do you want it? I don't know what this is. Secret. But hold on to it just in case. Alright, time to go exploring around. Hmm. What is this room? Weird. Uh. Oh. Okay. Hey, what's this? Keycard. Are these like demonic swords? making demonic swords. This is a Chuni factory. Do I swipe this keycard to this thingy? I'll write it open. We better call 9 over first. It's fine for both of you to take the elevator. Oh? There won't be any problems? My narrow capsule range also extends to the upper floor. So there's no problem. Really? Then I guess we'll go ahead and ride on. Yes. Okay, let's go, Henry. Weird. You are both here. What in the... How did you already get up here? I can go anywhere within my nearer capsule range. That's pretty handy. However, this floor marks the end of my range. Any higher from here, and I will have no choice but to travel with my main body. I see. I have shut down a majority of the security cameras on this floor, except for one. Which one is that? It is in a corridor where the security is too strong for me and is out of my reach. While well, I could manually destroy the security camera on the spot, 
doing so will trigger a nervous system. That's why I advise against it. Yeah, let's not do that. This is the information I was able to obtain from the floor below us. Now there is something I would like to ask first. What is it? I simply want a clarification of what our objective is. What our objective is, huh? Yeah, it's essential to ensure that everyone is on the same page here. Alright. Here's a rundown of our goals, in no particular order. Stop the emergence of purgatory. 2. Rescue Emma. 3. Get rid of as many spiders as possible. Not in that order. Preferably the, la the second one goes last. 4. Take down Oliver. And 5. Escape. These are our five objectives in a nutshell. When I think on taking care of a spider problem as well as Oliver may prove difficult. Just initiate a, you know, self-destruct system. Especially with so many spiders around. It seems next to impossible. There is an easier way to get rid of the spiders. There is. Can we not just unleash poisonous gas? Oh yeah, just, just get a can of raid. Poisonous gas. Oh, I see what you're getting at. So what should we do? Where do we start? Good point. If we can, I like rescuing Emma to be top priority. Emma, you mentioned that name before. Is she the girl who was briefly with you? Yeah, that would be her. Do you know if she's still alive? She still lives, but she has been captured. Damn. If you want to rescue her, then that may be the best left as your last step. Why is that? Liability. She's being held far away. On a floor that is far higher above ours. Seriously? Well, that sucks. On the contrary, it means Oliver is nowhere near us. And as idiom goes, when the cat is away, the mice will play. Yes. So it seems our initial objectives are to stop the emergence of purgatory and get rid of the spiders of poisonous gas. Seems so. Good. Now that we know what we're doing, we just get to put it into motion. Even after saying that, if we don't hurry, Emma's life will be in jeopardy. I will go on ahead and shut down whatever systems I can. Ebel, I will be monitoring you as you explore. Rest assured, if anything dangerous happens, I will let you know through my piece of flesh you are carrying. Roger that. Thanks for your help. Okay, I will go on ahead. You know, I really prefer for Nine to be here and working together with us. But it is what it is. And well, let's go, Henry. Look at that blood right here. What is this place? It's a dumping ground for discarded bodies from the floors above. You could say it is my food supply, to be exact. I probably could have lived without knowing that. My apologies. More blood here. Whoa! Whoa, what the hell is this place? This is the execution grounds. Otherwise known as the processing plant. Are you seeing this is where all the criminals get killed? Precisely 0.25% of all criminals are processed through here. The dead bodies are then discarded for the hole to the far right, which brings them to me. I'm sorry, but I do not need to know that. Also, do not worry. There are no security cameras in here. That's good at least. This hole is connected to the large pool of blood where we fell in. Ebel. Even if you fall, you will be okay. I will catch you gently with my tentacles. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna step back now. There's nothing for me here. Ebel, wait. What is it? If you go further that way, you'll be caught on camera. No way. Anything outside my area of influence will be under Oliver's jurisdiction. You must be careful. Gotcha. What happens if we do get caught? Is that even a possibility? No. I don't want to see any more dead bodies. Is that so? A lot of good meat around here. I'm seriously starting to hate how the sight of all this blood barely shocks me anymore. Oh, 
Oh, what? Is this the right way to go? Yes, keep going. Okay. Uh, cool. We're back at this place. How's that progressing so far, Nine? Does she not notice I'm standing here? Apple, that was one of my dummy monsters. Really? I've shut down all the security cameras and alarm systems in this area that I'm able. It will only be a matter of time before Oliver realizes something is wrong. Hold on a second. Nine, which one of you is your main body? I can't tell any of you apart. My real body is the one right in front of you. I see. Anyway, I guess it's over here right now. We might as well stop the emergence of purgatory. Yes, I will see what I can do. Please give me a few minutes. The dummy monster next to you is hard at work on it. But didn't Oliver state that if it can be accomplished with a push of a single button? That is rubbish. Everything that man says is almost always a lie. Do not believe a single word that comes out of his mouth. That figures. Thank you, Nine. You've helped us more than enough. You are welcome. I'm doing my utmost because I wish to go out with you. Huh? Um, okay. By the way, this path will take you forward, Evel. Yeah, I'll just take this path over here. Isn't that a pipe? Can you even call it a path? Yes. It should at least lead to the exhaust vents or something like that. You been through here? Yes. If you go through here, you can bypass most of the security cameras. In a sense, it is the safest route. I see. We might as well traverse through there. Alright, then follow me. Sure thing. I guess you don't have much of a choice. However, I cannot disarm the defense system's traps. I see. These dummy monsters look so real. You cannot proceed past this point. It is dangerous. Okay. I can't tell these dummy monsters apart from the real thing. See, I believe Oliver deliberately disarmed them in order to get the free view in here. No way. Do you know what sort of traps they are? Pitfalls. It is a heat ray trap with multiple beams that will burn through you and dice you up into a well-cooked steak. Ah, it's the Resident Evil trap! I knew it! The hallway was the Resident Evil trap! So I was right! What the hell? That's terrifying. Even though I've shut down the security cameras from beyond this point. I was unable to disarm all the traps. Three of my dubbed monsters have already been diced into chunks. Now do you still wish to go through? I don't turn back. This dummy monster seems to be incredibly focused. Their tentacles are zigzagging all over the place. What's going on over here? Ah, you came here. This path is the wrong way. Uh, are you one of our dummy monsters? Yes, this is a dummy monster. However, when you speak to one of my dummy monsters, you are also speaking to my main body. Uh, I don't really get what you mean. Do not worry about it. Okay. Do you know what's further down this way? D-013. D, that means another demon like you and Henry. Yes. However, it is placed in isolation right now, so it will not pose any danger to us. I see. Thank God for that. But you never know when it may get out, so I'm here keeping an eye on it. So I can still escape even in isolation. One never knows what a D-type is capable of, so I am uncertain. Demons are terrifying. Am I too terrifying to you? I don't mean it like that, Nine. You're still scary, just not enough to make me sweat bullets. Maybe just enough to make me a little hot and bothered. Ebel, you are a pervert. Baka. I don't get it. Is this something I said? Oh, whoa, 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 what? Yeah, no, we ain't dealing with that.
What's in the door? Locked. How goes it? Now if I hit the enter key. Okay, I have unlocked this area. As for the final step, once the dubbing monster over there presses the stop button. Everything is functioning normally. It is now stating the following. Are you sure you want to shut down the emergence of Purgatory project? And there. We've successfully stopped the emergence of Purgatory, Abel. That's great news. We expect no less from you, Noin. Then that means... Erin and I didn't do jack shit. Our bad. Actually, I'm the one who owes you both an apology. I'm very sorry. What do you have to apologize for? What's going on with the door? It seems that Oliver has taken over the controls of the system. That bastard. Do you catch on to what we're doing? Then the dummy monsters I had over there will not be of use to you anymore. Ebel, you are on your own from here. That's okay. We got this. As I no longer have access to my dummy monsters, I do not have the means to act as proficiently as I did before, so... Henry, I will have, a I will have to ask you to assist me from here on. Thank you, Henry. So, Nine, where do we go from here? There's an AC control room at the end of this pipe passage. We're going to head there. I see. These are the poisonous gas, huh? Yes, you are correct. But before we do, we're going to have to manually close some of the vents first. So we'll be stopping there first. Okay. Sounds like a plan. By the way, how are we going to find some of this poisonous gas? I have it taken, I have it taken care of. Do not worry. Okay. Now follow me. This way. Oh, here we go. It's gonna break out. I have regenerated from my pancake-like form. I am invincible. Now what? Ebel, there's a lever inside that room over there. I need you to pull it. Then we can proceed to the AC control room. Okay. Hurry. Is something wrong? Yes. It appears that some of the lookout dummy monsters over there were wounded. And now, it is coming this way. Ah, oh, crap. Oliver is making full use of the system controls and is unlocking all sorts of things. What will happen once he releases all of them? He is going to set free the demon who is currently locked in isolation. It will be very bad for us. The bastard. He's doing everything in his power to take us down. Ebel. I will stay on the lookout. Hurry ahead. Got it. Henry, let's not waste a single minute. Okay. Lever pull. Apple, we are in trouble. It is coming. It is coming. You need to get away from here now. Right. Let's get out of here fast. I will go on ahead. What are you going to do, Nine? I will stay here and keep it busy. It will be all right. This body is just a dummied monster. But are you sure you can win against it? Not likely. Then what's the point? Dummy or not, you're coming with me. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, it's forcing us to make a save. Then this this party's kind of a. Uh... A little, a little awkward. I I think some kind of anomaly is chasing us. Apple, it is right behind us. Looks hungry. Hey, what the hell is that thing? That is D zero one three. It is a demon that likes to eat people. We have no chance at defeating it. Even if anyone and I were to team up and fight together. It will still have the upper hand and kill us. Even both your strengths combined. It's impossible. But I have a plan. Ebel, just run away for now. There's nothing I can do if it catches up to us. Got it. 
Which is why I'm gonna run up to it to see what happens. No, it's just a generic came over. Let's go. Don't stop. It's not over yet. We got some long run stretches here. It's getting close. Hey, Nine, I don't mind running away, but it isn't if we can do the fight back. That's why we're luring it here. Everything is going according to plan. What do you mean? Apple, just keep going. Uh, okay. You're gonna burn, all right? Or death lasers? A little bit of both. All right, it worked. Well, what's with all the flames? I don't get exactly what happened, but good work. Those flames are definitely gonna burn into ashes. Well, whatever the heck happened here, looks like they got our monster problem under control. Apple, let's get out of here. Right. Phew, those fire blasters back there were unbelievable. Man, we were lucky to have ran across them. We'd be toast if not for them. Now that thing is toast instead. Actually, it wasn't that. Oh, I get it now. You knew all about them, and that's why we went down this passage. Yes. A device is a pl flame projector. It was originally used to get rid of any D types that attempt to escape. It's a trap meant to handle escaping demons. That's correct. It's designed to stop what they designate as demonic hazards. That is why we went down this pipe passage. The structure was designed specifically so if there is a breakout, all the D-types can easily pass through. Basically, if a demon escapes, something can guide them here so that they'll be taken care of. Yes, that's exactly what it means. Wait, but Nine, aren't you D-type too? Then why weren't we burnt to a crisp when we passed through those flame projectors? Hehehe. <laughs> huh? Could it be? Before stopping the emergence of purgatory. You also did some adjustments to those devices. Yes, that is correct. I modified the program source to code during that time. Program? Source code? Well, whatever you did, you certainly came prepared. I'm confident in my own abilities. However, this technical process and comprehension is not in it to me. You must absorb some pretty proficient victims to obtain these skills. That is correct. Ebel, the door over there leads to the AC control room. Then we finally made it. Now all we need is some poisonous gas to get rid of the spiders on the upper levels. Before that, we should deactivate the flame projectors. Hmm. You mean that lever? Should I go pull it? Yes. Once you pull on the lever, it will stop the flames. Oh. Okay, let's turn it off then. This should stop the flames. Hey, a key. And there. All that's left to do is to distribute the poisonous gas. You know, I've been curious for a while now, but what exactly is this poisonous gas? It is inside of me. To put it simply, I'm going to mutate my cells to produce a toxin, okay. I didn't understand a single thing you said. Anyway, I'll leave it up to you, Nine. Okay. All right, and just like that. <laughs> Ebel, Henry, is something the matter? Nine, where the heck do these giant things come from? These are some of my cells that I've attached to the walls. Then I had my cells multiply out aut automatically in order to make them larger. Yeah, I think. I guess you're one of the good guys, and you're gonna escape with us. But like, we're gonna be roomating with like basically world liabilities there's no limit to what you can do I am a demon after all so I do what demons do no kidding Ebel now then we have to go back the way we came and head upward right so all that remains of our objectives is to rescue Emma and take down Oliver and once they're accomplished we can finally get out of here I agree we're almost there Ebel Let's get to the upper floors as soon as possible. 
The more time you waste, the further Oliver will be ahead. Yeah, let's get moving. Just how deadly are these toxins of yours? If a person happens to inhale the fumes of this poisonous gas, they will die instantly. But if they touch it, they will get infected, and this infection will kill them in 10 seconds. This toxin is capable of killing almost anything that isn't a demon or inorganic being. Well, hold on a second. Will this be a bad thing? Do not worry. The entire spider lair area is closed off. No air from there leaks to the outside. I see. Then I guess that means we're safe for... No, 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 that's not okay in the slightest. Huh? Hmm. I will do something about it later. I really appreciate it. If this poisonous gas managed to seep out to the surface somehow, it'd be a catastrophe. Emily, yeah, well, cannot go that way. Is something over there? The way ahead leads to a multitude of traps lying in wait. Even a demon would find it difficult to break through so many deadly traps. So would a human being have a 100% chance of death facing such odds? Oh man. Henry, what is wrong? You're wondering if any demons have actually passed through. Yes, there was just one. Who? D033. Yeah. What happened? You both look exasperated. No, it's that. We're just tired. And I really, really hate that thing. Damn tyrant. No, more of a nemesis, I suppose. Oh, it really did burn all right. Okay, I unlocked it. Ebel, it will be a waste of time going back there. We need to move forward. Got it. What's with that giant hole over there? That hole was created by D-013. Thanks to it, the tentacles that come from my dwelling are able to extend my neurocapsular range even further. Dwelling? You're referring to that massive wall of flesh of yours? Indeed. You could say that it's my home. Huh. So what is this dwelling of yours capable of? It can destroy, disrupt, take away controls, and etc. etc. from all sorts of systems. Definitely sounds like something that will come in handy on our current state. Ebel, if you enter it up ahead, you can go upstairs to the next floor. But the shutters are closed. How will we open them? Leave it to me. Open the door? <laughs> but. Ugh, this is tough. Is that good enough? Heave ho, heave ho. Phew, it is open. Now we can continue. You got open at least. If we had to use them for us. If I were to open up just as dummy monster bodies alone, it would have not been possible. So I had to resort to using my dwelling. Anywhere my home reaches will expand my influence further. Now how about we also take control of all the levels below us? Hmm, that would be a bit of a challenge for me. Yeah, let's forget about it. You're basically just spreading your creep around. Thank you for this offering. Uh... What? Are you actually gonna eat it? What a wonderful meal. Okay, so that really wasn't eating. So much as it was just swallowing an entire corpse whole of your tentacles. Yes. However, this man has suffered too much brain damage. Therefore, there are no memories for me to absorb. Nah, nah, I specifically told you that you should not be eating any more dead bodies. There's a lot of dead bodies around here. What a wonderful meal. This man's brain damage was severe. There are no memories left to absorb. But from what I can tell, he smoked way too much tobacco. I believe you would call him a chain smoker. He also did not get through enough exercise. It was carrying all kinds of venereal diseases. Ooh. Overall, this man had a criminal background and had too many unprotected sexual encounters with women. Or something along those lines. Um, you shouldn't... You shouldn't be eating dead bodies in the first place. Wouldn't this give you a stomachache or something? 
Hey, Nine. I don't probably don't want to know, but what is this place? Apparently, this is an execution chamber. Perhaps they use this place to trap and lock away both criminals and demons in here. Then they would just sit back and enjoy the rest. That sort of place, you know. These people need better hobbies. I wonder what's this. Hey, isn't that one of those monsters? Yes, this is Demon D-005. Henry, are you alright? Well, as long as you do no harm, this demon is practically harmless. Really? You're saying this thing is friendly? Yes. Even if you were to touch it, you will be okay. It's looking straight at me. This is freaking me out. I don't know why, but it looks like this monster is trying to tell us something. But in human beings are kind of outside my area of expertise. Nine, do you understand it? I can, somehow or another. It is saying give me something. Give it something. Give it what I wonder. I don't think it matters what, just as long as you give it something. What the heck does that mean? I don't get what giving it is anything is supposed to do. I don't think there is any deeper meaning behind it, because it is an imperfect demon. So why not give it something in good faith? Even if you put it that way. Um, what exactly do we have to- we can't- we can give to it? Well, we don't need these anymore. Here. We like this map of the spider lair area and this piece of paper of 16 squares on it. It's staring at these pieces of paper with intense fixation. How scary. It was wondering if you have anything else. Uh, I want something else? I don't think I have anything else left on me. Henry? What are you doing? Henry tied a ribbon around D-005. Ah, that's kind of cute! Henry, seriously, what are you doing? I think it likes it. I don't think it likes that. We should take it off. Ebo, you are wrong. It is happy about it. Seriously? I had no clue. I really can't tell if it's happy at all, even though you say it is. Are you sure it's happy? Probably. Hey now, you're a rock star. Are you really happy about that, Rimen? Whatever he's happy about. Thank you for this offering. What a wonderful meal. And her tentacles are swollen and whole. Ah, this man's memories are not damaged. Were you able to find any good information? Hmm. I do not think so. When this man was alive, his mind was filled with thoughts about killing people and nothing more. He is what I believe you would call a psychopath. Additionally, he would engage in necrophilia- Whoa. Okay, that's enough. This is getting too graphic. Goodbye. I, demon with cute ribbon now. Hope you enjoy yourself. It's a little interesting side tour. Hmm. Hmm. What is this area? It's not working. Even if it was electricity supplied to it, you still do not want to take this elevator. It would only take you down to the lower levels. Seriously? This green sign here. Does it mark this as elevator's emergency exit? Yes, it is an emergency exit sign. But they are all fake. Fake? Most people who do not understand this building structure will end up dying on their own. But they also use these emergency exit signs as a trap in case any intruders survive. It appears it is working as intended. So it's the two people like us, then. That's exactly the case. God damn it. We laid things wrong on purpose, as a joke. Green hair. Green hair is a very... A very bad person. Let's just say that. They are very determined to just, like... Yeah, we gotta stop some exit signs here and there. We gotta have, like, some death traps everywhere, man. 
torture rooms, you know, all the good stuff that evil people have. It feels like we finally made it to the top. We're still in the lower levels, though. Stop forcing high school students like us to despair and face the harsh reality of the world, please. Hey, look, an exit sign. That must be the correct area. Hey, there's something over there. This one is T014. This demon is completely immobile, but will eat in any prey that happens to touch or interact with it. Physical attacks are ineffective against it. The only way to kill it is by burning it. It's very similar to D015, another demon that has a mass wall of flesh. Of course, my dwelling would easily swallow up those of lesser wall of flesh demons to use them for sustenance. Okay, let's turn back. No. So look, you see, he's stuck towards the lore. Exit signs and arrows mean death traps. Huh. The demonic axe has been restored. Wow, that nearly scared the crap out of me. That axe of yours is incredible and so alive. So even if that weapon were to be destroyed, it could always restore itself with time. Really, I cannot believe that you actually happened to you. And then, and then. I'm sorry to interrupt all this excitement, but I think we should keep moving. Looks like Henry and Nine are getting along just fine. Is it because they're both demons? You are correct. We do not have time to stop and stand around. Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. So I know the lore on the axe is that if it takes any form of damage, like even the smallest like crack, it despawns. It has to recharge. But if it doesn't take any damage, you don't have to worry about it. Huh. Those gates over there. What's wrong? They are open. Is that a bad thing? It is bad. Extremely bad. Because they are open. The spiders escaping from the poisonous gas may come this way. And if they happen to get past here, there's a chance they can escape above into the city and wreak havoc. What? We need to close this place up as soon as possible. These spiders have been off on their own. But won't they bring the poisonous gas along with them? You need not worry about that. In order to reach this point, the spiders will need to go through the pipes where blood is constantly flowing. Therefore, the poisonous gas cannot make it this far. Regardless, the spiders still pose an issue. <sighs> I don't see any coming this way. How will we go close these gates down now? Understood. Let me give it a try. In the meantime, I need both of you to keep an eye out. I will try to close them as quickly as I can. Right. Alright. It's just me and you, enemy. You and I are going to be the vanguard if any of the spiders come this way. Rever, uh, I guess I'm not really meant for the front lines, but you are, huh? I'm useless, except for commentary. Am I still going to be a red and Henry? At this point, it kind of hurts. And Henry has been pushing herself so hard just for us to make it this far. I can't stand this. I know this is going to be an incredibly stupid call, but I'm the de facto leader here. Henry, I'll be the one leading the charge here. And I want you to ask my support, please. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that I'll be the one to fight on the front lines, while you'll cover me from behind. But I... Yeah, you're absolutely right. I really should be putting myself in that situation. I hate how useless I am. There's nothing I can do in cases like this. There has to be at least something I can do to help. You can cheer everyone on. 
What can I do to help out? I think I got it. Henry, Nine, please send me out here. I'm not good at putting it into words, but I at least want to say... We're all going to make it out if you're alive. That's all. Ebel, is it really okay to say something so meta? What do you mean? It is the timing of that statement. Is that not something of a death flag? Oh! Spiders. Red spiders. Spiders incoming. Ebel, what is the situation? There's three spiders. I can't see if there's any more approaching yet. Understood. Henry, I need you to take care of them. Ebel, continue to tell me the situation. But the moment it gets dangerous, run. Got it. How much time do you need, Nine? If you can buy me one minute, that's all I need. One minute, got it. Henry, you hear that? If we can hold out just for a minute, we can win this. Defend the gates at all costs. Alright. Here's what I should do. I'll have to watch Henry carefully, make sure that she doesn't go too far ahead. And I should stay out of her way as much as possible. We got this. What do I... What do I do? I'm just standing here. I'm useless. Useless! She killed those giant spiders in the blink of an eye. It's amazing what a demon can do. Anyway, two spiders at the front. Anyway, don't go too far ahead. Anyway, don't go too far ahead. No freaking way. This is awesome. What's going on? Is she looking for something? Spider! What? You have to be kidding me! Take yourself the metal pipe. Take the spider with the metal pipe. She went on your metal pipe. Check your metal pipe with the spider. Attack! Get down! Whoa, you saved me. I'm useless. Phew. I'm happy you're safe. Thank you. Veronica Tyrant Anime Girl. What big hands you have. Yeah, but what are you doing out there? You should have stayed closer to me. My bad. No, you didn't mess up at all, Henry. You're kicking ass out there. I'm just glad Nine was also here to save my skin. Praise me more. I'm sorry, we, we don't have time for that. This isn't good. There's a whole ton of them. Nine, how's the gates coming along? Just fine. We've already won this. You're gonna suffocate, all right. You did it. Now then. Um, is that hand gonna be permanent? All I'll have to do is... Destroy this thing and we are done. So is everyone all right? Okay, no. Naturally. So Nine, despite Oliver being able to control everything remotely, you were still able to close the gates here. That's because this place is safe from outside influences. Ergo, Oliver cannot control it remotely. So once I destroyed the controls after they were closed, these gates are now permanently shut. It can no longer be opened. You could say it is a perfectly sealed tight chamber. I see. Now then, Apple Henry, we've lost a lot of time, so let's get moving. You never know what Oliver might be scheming next. She's right. Let's hurry, but be cautious. Background changed a little bit. Henry, there's a shower room up ahead. Go in and wash the blood off. Ebel, what is it? Do you have something you want to say? Huh. I can't wait to see the sky. Is that what you want to say? Ebel, you really do know what other people are thinking. 
You're so cool. Kakoe. Come on, Nine. Don't you also have a similar ability? Well, so much for buttering you up. Anyway, do you mind if I talk to you about Oliver for a moment? Everyone's like... Everyone's like a big jokester. Except for Emma. Emma's just kind of mean. Sure. Go ahead. I think even Henry's kind of like sarcastic. Like, in between those like little blinks and stuff, like she's got like a lot of sarcasm. Thank you. It's just that our biggest obstacle will be Oliver's left arm. Yeah, I know what you mean. What do you call that thingy on his arm? It looks something like a cannon. It is an AMR anti-material rifle. And as long as he wields it, we're at a huge disadvantage. That is why first and foremost, we need to do something about it. Or Oliver is just gonna like camp a hallway or something like that. Dirty spawn camper. After that, our falling priorities will be his right arm, shoulder, hips, and legs. Essentially his entire body. Since he will be equipped with ERA explosive, explosive reactive armor, that's why close combat is essentially useless. Explosive reactive armor. Does that mean he explodes? ERA is a special type of protective armor that responds to any strong impacts with an explosion that mitigate damage. When used in close combat, the one who takes damage in the end will be the attacker, and not the receiver. So then what would happen if I were to hit him with my metal pipe? Ebel, you would be utterly obliterated. No way. Now that you mention it, I recall Henry's thing she might not be able to beat Oliver. Maybe that's the reason why. I wonder if it is because Henry's instincts somehow sensed the impending danger. And that is why she realized that it would be wise not to attempt at any attacks on Oliver. I see. Do you know this information yourself? Or was it absorbed from a victim? Neither, actually. I obtained this information from reading through the data available on the mother computer in the lower levels. Very smart. Well, it certainly seems like we got something to show for all our snooping around. Be sure to share this information with Henry, okay? Eh, but I've already told her. When did this happen? Abel? Yeah. So what should we do when, until Henry comes back? Um, Pokemon? We would only just stand and wait for her for... Hmm. Ah, I got it. Tabletop? Ebel, you're wearing two layers of shirts, are you not? Give me one of them. Sorry. I know it looks like I'm wearing two different layers. But that's all one shirt. It's a false double-layered shirt. Oh, you... Oh, I see. Ah, oh, boo. Well, how about this? Once we get out of here, we'll go find some nice clothes for you. Thank you, Abel. Yes, your clothes are clean now. However, they are still wet. Okay, I will dry them. You got like a, a dryer upgrade? How is it? Are they dry now? W what did you do? They're still a bit damp, but please bear with it. Hee <laughs> hee. Now then, Ebel Henry, let's get move on. Secret. Oh, I'll surprise if it was an Easter egg here.